So we've seen the teaser trailers and we know that it's about an uh, alien abductee uh, support group. We've seen glimpses of an alien. Are we going to see like the interactions between the aliens and the, the humans? Um, well, the, uh, the core of the show is the group of people who um, all decided that they've been abducted and are kind of fixing problems in their lives with this idea that they can blame it all on aliens. And um, the irony of it is that as you get deeper into the show, you realize that yes, there are aliens and that the aliens have been you know, yeah, no, uh, screwing with these guys uh, in many ways, but not everything. And they are going to be chasing the possibility of the aliens and then doubting themselves and then having to believe in it like it's a religious faith and then, you know, from thinking that they're crazy and all of the kind of, you know, problems that you might have with such a bizarre experience. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely for the beginning. I mean, whether that you know, what, they're not going to find aliens in the foreseeable future, but the aliens are going to be finding them. Correct. And then, what do you? What's your character? Can you just tell us your character name? Yeah, I, uh, I play Gina Morrison, who's the um, the person who runs the alien abduction survivor group. So I'm a. You're a full blow and believer. I'm definitely a believer, I'm definitely a survivor, and I'm definitely um, not that good of a therapist. So it's, it's sort of a combination of, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty motley ragtag support group because it's got to kind of fly under the radar because, you know, people are not as open-minded as they should be about um, surviving experience, this experience, right? Yes, it's under, underfunded. We're underfunded, yeah. I mean, as many great and legitimate organizations are. So. Exactly. Um, how many episodes are for the first season so far? Um, we're in the process of shooting. We obviously shot the pilot yeah. last year, and uh, we're in the process now of shooting the second and third episodes. Okay. And um, in the we're in the in the heat. We've got ten total. So yeah, it's really nice. I am sure it's, everyone has their opinions on this. And from the acting standpoint, it's so concentrated and. There's some real advantages to that because it feels um, the arc is very clear, the motivations are very clear. It's it's and the, this really is a tidy kind of cable-oriented arc, um, which is nice. You don't have this kind of endless meandering. What's going to happen in the 19th episode this season? Feeling you know at the, that other half hours have I think the new model. Yeah, you'll be able to read every episode before we start shooting. Right, exactly. Which is pretty cool. You guys won't. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we will. No. That's <laughs> just yeah. I also feel like it tends to, I mean, with all due respect, like it has a lot, there's a sense of vision to it that you don't always get with a 22 episode series where there's yeah. kind of a feeling like your writers are halfway through, but you're like, oh, we're so tired. What are we going to think of? You know, like yeah, it doesn't exactly. have that vibe at all. Do you know the size of this going to be? It, ten it's ten. ten. Yeah, ten episodes. Now, does yeah. the. Does does the show take on like a confessional type of format, like uh, your past shows, like the office? Um, no, it's uh, it's not a mockumentary. Uh, it's a filmic piece. It's filmic, yes. Um, what we're, we're talking about though, believing in the existence of aliens out there, some you know at some point, and that. If there is contact in between, like while we're in production, then maybe we could shift it and make it a mock. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Play with a form, I like that. Do you get to add with lines? Because, I mean, you're, well, you're generally just very funny. So. Thank you so much. You know, great. But, I mean, it's a scripted show, so. It is definitely a scripted show with a really strong sense of um, genre and uh, and an interesting and new sense of genre. In my opinion, at least, I don't know if this is your intention, but it feels very much, not just because we're at Comic-Con, like a mashup between a sci-fi show yeah. and a Greg Daniels comedy. So it has a nice new form vibe to it. I feel like there's less of the, like, set up, set up, laugh, set up, set up, laugh that I've had to experience from other shows I've worked on. Um, I forgot what you asked. Oh, do you mean yeah. <laughs> Wow. It's you lost long, me. You were talking. I've been talking right? about myself for a long, long time. <laughs> and there's only so many things I can say. Um, no, Greg is, you know, the master of found comedy. So for sure the script is very focused and strong, but we definitely improvised and definitely... Um, I'm not sure we successfully did it, but we definitely... Well, we're trying even more in the future. There's, we're going to um, uh, try and shoot the... Um, 
the group seems um, a little bit more handheld and, and um, improv friendly uh, than we did on the pilot. Actually, that's coming up. Wait, I mean, you don't always have time when you're. I mean, when you're filming a show that you have to get out, and then you have this no, many days to do it. No, but they have some really strong so advisors. You know, yeah. Brian Husky's an incredible advisor. Oh, People have a lot of history in, in, the, in the form. Oscar Nunez, obviously, from the office of the show. Yeah. So there are. Uh, I think there's an incentive to, to, to let some people rip. Right. So even in the pilot, there was some improv in the scene mm -hmm. where um, one of the group scenes where Gina's leading the other people and, you know, talking to them. And then um, Ozzy is uh, uh, interviewing uh, Richard and Brian Husky. And, uh, about presidential politics, that was, right. which president was it? Was a reptilian. Right. There was a bunch of improv there, and a, there was a lot of stuff with you and Chelsea, the uh, uh, Tracy Chino's character. But it's on the edit room floor now, but only wonderful. <laughs> Great. So it was good. So we improvised, but not well. No, it was really good. I think it'll probably be safe for later. That's all. Well, that's delightful. Good. Good. As long as it makes it in somewhere. It's not wasted time. How did you come up with the idea for the show? Well, I didn't. David Jenkins did. He's okay. behind us. He's a um, playwright in New York, and he wrote the show on spec. And I just thought it was super fun and a, like a idea that can spread into many different sort of places emotionally. Like it can make you really interested and kind of you know, laugh. And, you know, there's sort of touching moments between people, and it's got a nice sort of grounded feeling of these are real people, even though these crazy things is happening to them. Uh, at base, it's, you know, you could do the show without showing the aliens, too, and it would be an interesting show about real people who are deluded in many ways that are good comic delusions. Do you guys have plans for any particular guest stars or hopes for any guest stars? We have such a huge cast that I hope we never have yeah. a guest star. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough. It's hard enough working on all these great It's a giant guys. ensemble. Yeah. It's really fun. But it's a lot for 20, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of people to explore, and um, my feeling is that there, we do have a couple of roles that are, have been recently cast that are interesting people. Um, I'm not sure when they want to let drop who, who they are, but the, the majority of um, the emphasis in the beginning is just going to be exploring the ensemble that we already have. <laughs> Can you talk about some of those actors that you already have in the characters? I don't know. I don't know if I have authorization. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about the existing cast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, the existing cast? Yeah, yeah sure. Um, well, you just come from Toronto working with them. Yeah. Why don't you tell um, so us the, some the of your cast The ensemble is a really just fun season group of comics. We have, um, like I said, Brian Husky, a really wonderful, hilarious actress, Tracy Chimo, who's on Orange is New Black, and she's also a big theater actress in New York. Um, Nancy Lanahan, who's been around a million things, super funny. Uh, Alice Wetterland. Alice Wetterland and uh, Divine Joy Randolph, uh, very funny comedians. Um, Luca Jones. Luca Jones. Oscar Nunez. It's a big group. It's, it's a big cast. It's a really yeah. big, really fun. Wait, we only have six others in the <laughs> series regulars. And Wyatt, of course, and I guess the, is the yeah. linchpin. So with such a large story. cast, how do you, like, give everyone like enough stuff well this is you know hotly debated in the writing room um, I think Wyatt is the way into the show and um, I loved his comedy since we worked together on King of the Hill many years ago and um, then you know we're trying to give like really cool episodes that feature the different ensemble like our fourth episode was a big Gina story where you, in flashback you learn all about how she ended up in this small upstate town doing this you know tr treating people who have these bizarre thoughts without with auto therapy license <laughs> there's some workarounds you know yeah, and um, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, and then, of course, we didn't mention there's also the actors that play the aliens. Uh, of course. One of them 
uh, Ken Hall, who's uh, a Canadian improv star from Toronto, who we found, who's hilarious. Super funny, yeah. And um, Gustafsson, who you may have recognized from Spy, that movie, and uh, he actually played the Dwight Schrute character on the Swedish version of The Office, um, which of course endeared me to him. And uh, um, Drew, excuse last name. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. We did it in September. He's exactly he's all under the under the reptilian stuff. And Michael Cassidy plays the Oh yeah, Michael of course. The, uh, yeah, that's a huge his boss. Yeah, so there's yeah. really a ton of great performers. Yeah. And, um, Smart, funny people. Yeah. And so hopefully they'll all have the patience to um, be living in Toronto for their <laughs> you know uh, a couple of minutes a show in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be flashing back the main ensemble like throughout the year? Just each person gets their own little backstory that we get to see, or? Um, yes, I mean I'm not sure if we hit absolutely every single person uh, in the ten episodes. How could you in ten episodes? But um, yeah, but they all are going to have uh, cool, uh, you know, stories about um, their experiences or their interactions with other group members. Or um, you know, like in Luca's case, he never was experienced. He actually wasn't. Yeah, he's never abducted. He just wishes he was. So he's uh, he's aspirant. He's a, he's a student of the of abduction yeah. and a true believer. Maybe almost more than some of the people yeah. who were abducted. Exactly. And then we get more into, for example, the character Richard, who um, everybody on the in the group is you know, is convinced that his wife was not abducted because they see her around town and, you know, they're all just like, oh, poor Richard, you know, she left him and he's invented this whole thing. Um, but, you know, we have an upcoming episode where his wife plays a role as well. And uh, we kind of get to the bottom of whether he's completely nuts or whether that actually happened to him. Given that it's a shorter season, is this intended to be kind of drop in or a full story beginning to end of season where you kind of want to watch them all sequentially and kind of binge it? Well, I think it's um, primarily intended for binging because it's um, it's got an art to it. But you know, we're starting everything with previously on people of Earth and. You know, the hope is that it's um, it isn't that hard to just jump in anytime you want. But um, David often talks about how uh, TV is so often viewed, um, you know, in big gulps, and uh, so we want to make it easy for people to have something to follow and you know enjoy a whole season at a time. Yeah, it does feel like it has an arc. I mean, I have to say it's really satisfying because, again, the, the way we're shooting is very condensed because we're on location, and so it's really fun to read um, episodes. And we'll do two. We, we do table reads with two episodes. It was, it's fun because you can. It's just clearly an arc to show. It's more than other shows I've looked at. It's not just like this week on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because with comedies, they often tend to be more. They do uh, sort of. Um, yeah, I mean, there's situations, which is great, and there's plenty of that. But, but I think it's also a dramatic underpinning, which yeah. is that the aliens are going to invade at some point. <laughs> so, you know, we're worried about that. <laughs> Hopefully, that's how you get your audience. <laughs> Their own fears. You tap into their own fears. <laughs> cool. Thank you. We were just discussing. Um, uh, this morning, uh, that if contact is made with another alien civilization, like right when we air, is it going to be good for the show or bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's important to really consider how everything can impact your show. You know, world events wise, it's very likely yeah. to happen, especially given that their leader is already here at the Republican yeah. National Convention. Yeah. We were like, there's going to be a lot of interest in aliens, clearly, if they make contact right before we air. Yeah. So that's the positive. That's the, but on the other hand, topical. our depiction of them is probably going to be so off that it'll be like. We could be a laughing to people. Staff. Yeah. Exactly. Just making fun of how far off we all were. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to give them the idea to invade in a hostile way either. That'd be no. a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward nice to it.